The little cormorant, Microcarbo niger, is a member of the cormorant family of seabirds. The little cormorant is about 50 centimeters long. Slightly smaller than the Indian cormorant it lacks a peaked head and has a shorter beak. It is widely distributed across the Indian subcontinent and extends east to Java, where it is sometimes called the Javanese cormorant. The little cormorant is found across India, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Pakistan, and lowland Nepal. It is also found in parts of Myanmar, Thailand, Laos, Cambodia, and Indonesia. It is not found in the Himalayas, but vagrants have been seen in Ladakh. It inhabits wetlands, ranging from small village ponds to large lakes, and sometimes tidal estuaries. It forages singly or sometimes in loose groups in lowland freshwater bodies, including small ponds, large lakes, streams, and sometimes coastal estuaries. Like other cormorants, it is often found perched on a waterside rock with its wings spread out after coming out of the water. The entire body is black in the breeding season but the plumage is brownish and the throat has a small whitish patch in the non-breeding season. There is also a short crest on the back of the head. The eyes, gular skin, and face are dark. In the non-breeding bird or juvenile, the plumage is brownish and the bill and gular skin can appear more fleshy. The crest becomes inconspicuous and a small and well-marked white patch on the throat is sometimes visible. Little cormorants tend to forage mainly in small loose groups and are often seen foraging alone. They swim underwater to capture their prey, mainly fish. A study in northern India found that the little cormorant fished in water which was less than a meter deep and captured fishes of about 2 to 8 centimeters length. Captured fishes are often brought up to the surface to swallow them and during this time other birds may attempt to steal them. The breeding season of the little cormorant is between July to September in Pakistan and northern India, and November to February in southern India. In Sri Lanka it is December to May. These birds breed gregariously in trees, often joining other water birds at hare and rise.
Males display at the nest site by fluttering their wings while holding their head back and bill raised. They then lower the bill, and after pairing the male also provides food to the female in courtship feeding. Both parents take part in building the nest, which is a platform of sticks placed on trees and sometimes even on coconut palms. They may nest beside Indian pond herons and little egrets in colonies. The nest is built in about two weeks. The nest was a cup-shaped structure with a depression in the middle. The maximum height of the nests varied from 7.8 meter to 10.6 meter from the ground. Both of the partners took part of the collection of the nest material and the arranging of the material, that used their breast, legs and bill to give the nest a proper shape. The whitish eggs turn muddy with age and incubation begins when the first egg is laid. Two to six eggs laid at intervals of about two days. The shape of the eggs was oval, more, or less pointed at one end and the other end was round in concurrence. This leads to asynchronous hatching and the chicks in a nest can vary considerably in age. The eggs hatch after 15 to 21 days. The downy chicks have a bare red head. The young birds are able to leave the nest after about a month. After the first of the eggs hatched, the female starting to brood. Both the mates took turns to brood. Brooding continue until the development of the feathers densely, 7th to 10th day. At night the female brooded continuously and the male sit on the branch beside the nest. Little cormorants are vocal near their nest and roost where they produce low roaring sounds. They roost communally often in the company of other water birds. The little cormorant species are mostly sedentary and make local movements in search of feed and roosts. The global population of these cormorant birds is not estimated. This species has an extremely large range, and hence does not approach the thresholds for vulnerable under the range size criterion. The population trend is not known but the population is not believed to be decreasing sufficiently rapidly to approach the thresholds under the population trend criterion. Hunting of these birds, persecution from the aquaculture industry and breeding habitat degradation are the threats in conservation of these birds.